almost 10 years ago in Alamosa, Colorado. Of all places in this world, I met you, the girl that would change my life forever. I've told you countless times that I believe everything happens for a reason. That's why I know that with everything in my soul, this is where I'm meant to be today, becoming your husband. I fell in love with the way you love your family and the accent you get when we spend a weekend in the valley. <laughs> I fell in love with the way you can't walk past a pair of old Levi's and not think about buying them, no matter how many pairs you have at home. I fell in love with how you treat everyone the exact same and never want anyone to feel left out. Zena, your heart is special, and I will do my best to protect it. So please, never change, and I will spend the rest of my life trying to be the man that you deserve. Standing in front of you, I see every bit of my future. I see us traveling the world, and you dragging me into every photo booth along the way. I see you becoming the greatest mother to our kids, and raising them to be caring, compassionate, and funny, just like me, <laughs> and you, too. how much um, my mom loved me. Yeah. She would have adored you. So I looked at her jewelry box and I wanted to find just a little something that you can clip on your flowers or just somewhere. Yeah. Just have a little piece of clothes. Thank you. Pleasure. Marriage is challenging, it's sacrificial. Marriage is a battle, and marriage is a long-term journey. But ultimately, marriage is worth it. We know life can get hard, but sometimes hard and challenging things aren't really necessarily bad. They could be a gift, they could be a blessing, and we should see them as a gift and a blessing because at the end of the day, hard is the ability to look back and say, wow, this is worth it. So when you guys grow old, and you look wrinkly, you start to lose that curly hair on the top of your head, Carlos, I want you to remember and be able to look back when you're 90 and say, this marriage has been so worth it. Carlos, my sweet boy, today I get to marry not only the man of my dreams, but of my reality. To have you by my side each and every day for the rest of our lives is the greatest gift this world could ever give me. For years, I have unknowingly been writing my vows to you because long before I even knew, you had my heart and it knew you held my future. I want to read to you a glimpse of our years together and what I've been waiting to tell you. As you may have noticed, I stole your book, but like the books on your nightstand, this was just for show. <laughs> <laughs> I want to take you back to Wednesday, December 23rd of 2020, and this is what I wrote to you. You have shown me things that only someone who truly cares would. You have shown me patience, loyalty, and an unequivocal love that is endless. On Sunday, October 31st of 2021, a little snippet was, you are my happiest day, my brightest light, and every I love you I'll ever say. On Sunday, June 20th of 2022, I wrote to you, I don't want to live a life where you are 
not in it, or wake, in a, wake up in a bed without you there. Heaven is where you are and where we will be after we're gone. Saturday, September 9th of 2023, I wrote to you, my love for you will never fail. I promise to try and be as patient as you if you promise to never be funnier than me. <laughs> I'll never stop asking what if questions or singing the lyrics wrong to any and all songs. <laughs> and you'll never stop quoting every single line he's ever heard. <laughs> but I want to take it back because this is his journal. To February 10th of 2019, one of his first diary entries, journal entries, excuse me. It's a, it's a, it's a journal. <laughs> it's a journal. That's manly. I feel really good about Xena and I. It's been a long time that I felt comfortable with someone and truly just vibed. <laughs> Things seem pure and I'm honestly at a great place. That was the first passage you wrote in here about us and look at us now how things have changed. We get to spend the rest of our lives together and I love you even in the daytime. <laughs> I vow that I will always protect you, support you, and be as patient as I need to be. I vow to be vulnerable and trust that our love is greater than any challenge in life. I vow to never stop reminding you why I, why I fell in love with you and never take for granted the light that you radiate in everybody's lives. I vow to always answer your phone calls, even if it's the, even if it's the tenth one of the day with something that probably could have been a text, and to be your shoulder to sleep on on the couch, at the movies, or game five of the Stanley Cup final. <laughs> but most of all, I promise to never put a limit on my love for you and cherish, cherish every single second. I love you, even in the daytime, forever. If you know Zena, you know that everything takes a little bit of extra time. Zena met Carlos her first year at Adams State. Both Zena and Carlos will tell you that Carlos was obsessed with her immediately. But Zena wasn't quite at that obsessed level. Um, I remember how many conversations we had about Carlos and how she was just keeping him in the friend zone. Because of course, Zena needed a little extra time. When they did start dating three or maybe it was four years later, I remember thinking, finally, this poor guy has been waiting forever. And then I remember when she told me they finally told each other that they loved each other, which of course took forever because Zena needed a little extra time. Carlos, I know that I don't have to tell you that it takes time with Zena. You experience that every day. And you probably know better than anyone here that anything worth having is worth working for and waiting for. You have long awaited this precious day with an incredible and beautiful woman. I hope that you continue to be obsessed with that, her with, throughout your many years of marriage and that you continue to be patient because you have several years of waiting just a little extra time ahead of you. I think for me, it's truly been a privilege uh, to, to watch your love unfold, to watch where you guys are going to go. Um, and I know that, you know, speaking on behalf of my family, obviously everybody here, that uh, we truly, you know, couldn't be more excited to welcome you into our family, uh, welcome you into the to the craziness that we have. Um, and I think <clears throat> it's only uh, it's only right that you guys have done it at this beautiful place and you know, on this beautiful night. So uh, we wish you both a, a happy and healthy marriage, and uh, well, cheers. To, uh, to the new couple and uh, we'll be part of it.